Hello all! <laughs> it's Katie and today is Monday, you guessed it, which means a back to school video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips on how to... Oh. Today's video is going to be tips for online school. Okay, so I really wanted to share with you guys tips for how to succeed in online classes or online school... I'm going to put this down. Or online school in general because obviously with COVID and quarantine and everything, it's school's gonna change drastically for everyone. For me personally, it's a whole confusing thing. I go to Miami University and I'm gonna be a senior, which kind of stinks. Um, but basically they're doing remote online learning for the first month of school and then hopefully we'll be able to move into in-person classes, but honestly at this point, I have no idea. So to those who are going to school remotely or just hybrid classes, which is like half remote, half in-person, I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to succeed whether you're in college or high school. Or honestly like middle school if you have to do that too. I think these tips would definitely help. I'm gonna be completely honest, online school is not easy, so I hope these tips help you and let's jump right into the video. First tip that I have for you guys is to set a schedule. Now, depending on what your teachers or professors do, they could either do a work at your own pace or they could do a specific time Zoom meeting or like WebEx or Google Meets or whatever you guys use. It's really important to know when you have those specific classes so you can plan for it. So make sure you have a set schedule and that will keep you less stressed. The second step that I probably should be working on a little more for this semester is getting ready for the day and not learning in bed. I was that person who would wake up for class and stay in bed in my pajamas and then learn through that and I have found that that is not effective at all. I tend to get distracted and just kind of zone out because I'm super comfortable in my bed. So get your butt out of bed, go get ready for the day. You don't have to put on makeup, you don't have to get really fancy, but just get out of bed and get out of your room. This way you will be more motivated to work and you will be more focused. Step Step number three is to have a planner. This can be a monthly, a weekly, a daily, any way that you can write down your assignments and your due dates. You're probably going to be thrown a lot of things at you at once. Classes are going to have different schedules, different due dates, and you won't have teachers in the actual classroom to remind you about them. So by having a planner, you can write down everything that you need to know and then physically cross it off. One, it's really satisfying when you can cross off stuff off of a list, and two, it just helps you to realize what you have to do and what you've already done. Number four is understand how you learn best. Everyone learns differently, and for me, I learn best when I'm physically writing down notes in a notebook. Sometimes if I'm writing notes down on my laptop, it gets really distracting because there's so many tabs open and there's so many things I can do. But if I just have Zoom on my laptop and then a notebook, it's really easy to stay focused. If you want to succeed, you need to understand how you learn best. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as your friends. People learn in different ways, so just find what works for you. I feel like concentration is so hard when it comes to online classes because I tend to just fidget with my phone or just do random stuff around my room because no one's telling me to sit down. So it's a very different environment. You just need to stay focused. That actually kind of goes into my fifth one, which is getting rid of distractions. I know from next semester, from what I've learned in March and April, that I cannot work in my room. I get so incredibly distracted and there's so many fun things I can do. So make sure you find a place that you won't get distracted. You can completely focus on what you're doing. You're not going to have a teacher yelling at you to stop being on your phone or stop talking to your friends. So you need to take responsibility and accountability for yourself. Number six is to stay organized on your computer. Obviously, if you're doing online school, you're gonna have a technology device such as a computer, a laptop, which is a computer, um, a tablet or an iPad or anything like that. So you wanna make sure that that space is organized. This is making sure that you have good internet, a lot of storage on your laptop, making sure you make folders for all of your assignments so you can find them quick and easy. By doing this ahead of time and having a place for everything on your laptop, tablet, whatever you guys are using, it's really gonna help you and it will make everything go faster. I also would recommend getting an external storage device. I have one for my laptop and I absolutely love it. It just backs up all my documents so I don't lose anything. I think this is number seven, but do your work in the morning or as early as you can. I tend to procrastinate a lot and save my work to the nighttime. Just, you know, if I have class at noon and then I'm done by one, I'll just be like, okay, I don't need to do anything else. And then I'll end up saving it for the night and hating myself. I know it's really hard, but if you have to do schoolwork anyways, wouldn't you rather just get it all done with as soon as possible and then have the rest of your night free? Think about it. It will also help you to turn things in on time because if you're racing against deadlines in the evening, you're probably not gonna do your best work. Number nine. Eight. Number eight is use your professor's office hours to your advantage. I'm gonna just assume this, but I'm not really sure, but I think that professors and teachers are gonna have office hours for you if you're doing online school, so definitely use those to your advantage. 
Even during in-person classes, I think I went to office hours at least once a week for some of my teachers with subjects that I was struggling with. They are here to help you and they have specific office hour times for that. So if you have questions, if you need clarification, definitely go use them. And the last one, I don't even know what number I'm on so I'm not even gonna try, but the last tip is to take breaks. Obviously, online school is different from in-person classes, but in-person classes, you're probably standing up and going to a different classroom for your next class. Well, you don't do that when you're in online school. You're probably just sitting there. So definitely take some time, get some food, walk around, talk to your friends, take some breaks because you will get super stressed out and your back will hurt and you will just get super annoyed and bored if you aren't taking breaks during your sessions. Everyone needs to give their brain a rest sometimes, so it is important to get all your work done when you can, but make sure you are taking those breaks. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you got some really helpful tips for succeeding on online classes. I know it's kind of scary and I know it's kind of going to suck, but we have to get through this and I hope you guys learned a lot. If you guys need anything, tips, advice, anything like that, just message me. You can DM me on Instagram. You can message me down below. I will be there to help you. Also, let me know what you guys are doing for school. I'm interested to know what other people are. My college, like I said, is going remotely for the first month and then we're we're just kind of kind of see what goes on from there um so yeah i'm interested to know thank you for watching again and i'll see you later bye